Good evening, Facebook friends. Uh, this is Andrew Waters, and uh, this evening uh, I've had a couple of requests about how to get uh, files from Rebrickable, where you can purchase them, over into the studio program where you can actually see the steps and build uh, the vehicles that I have uh, up for sale here. Uh, this is my Rebrickable site, so to be rebrickable.com. And then you can access it through users, Victaven, Mox, or you can just search Victaven. It should bring this uh, up. Um, <clears throat> I had a gentleman that purchased one of the cars here and was having trouble trying to get the file to actually unzip. And I'm going to try and create a little tutorial here on what you need to do to be able to get through that process. So uh, when you go in here into Rebrickable, And you go in and open up uh, the model that you want to see. I've got uh, the picture and the description on it. And then uh, you go in and buy the mock building instructions. Make sure when you guys are actually looking at the mocks on Rebrickable that you go and look at the inventory. This is a pretty important part because if you guys are expecting all the parts to be really cheap and available, that's not always the case. And that's pretty important, uh, especially when it comes to something that's custom like this. Uh, like, for example, on this particular car, uh, these fender arches right here that I've used are kind of a rare part. And it'll show you that in Rebrickable with rare color. And it gives you a suggested price. Sometimes when you go on Bricklink or Brick Owl, you can find them at a better price than what's actually listed here. But that is something that you guys need to know because when you go in here, sometimes you can kind of be shocked in the uh, the end by how much some of these are going to cost to get. So make sure you take a look at these. And also, if you think that you could find a supplemental part um, that you could use as a replacement, and I'll show you an example of that here in just a second. Um, sometimes you can find a part that would be a little bit cheaper that you could get away with. Um, as an example on this blue Mustang that I've got listed here, there's a part that goes in behind the headlight brick uh, right in here that's a Technic piece. Rather than going in and actually trying to get the Technic brick that's located in the um, parts instructions, this piece right here, you can go in and actually use two of the single Technic bricks, the one by ones, instead of this um, 32000 that uh, it says is required on it. So sometimes it's pretty important to actually go through and look and see uh, on some of these rare pieces, go in and find them on the instruction set and see if you can um, put in some supplemental parts. Anyway, once you actually download the file, it will go into your uh, downloads folder. And from what the individual was telling me, it's an unzip um, file. This is just a regular folder that's uh, zipped. But basically, you'll want to extract that file. And you'll want to have a target folder to put it into. Uh, I'm not going to extract this right this second. But I've created a folder, as you can see right here, that's listed as Lego. This is where all of my files end up going to. And so this is just a file folder that I've got, that I've got some concept art, uh, pictures of vehicles that I'm going to be using, um, and the actual I.O. file. So for example, this is the actual file right here uh, that you're going to need to access this car. Okay, so once you download uh, the actual file into your computer, this is what you're looking for is the .io file. So we'll open up Studio, okay, and I've already got it opened up here, so we'll go to a different one. But what you'll want to do is you'll open up the uh, parent program, which is Studio, and then go into File, Open, 
And then this will probably default you to your desktop, whichever folder you're actually downloading these files into as the parent folder. You'll want to go into that folder. And then Studio will only actually look for the .io files. So let's go in, for example, and look at the blue Mustang that we were talking about. We'll click on that and click Open. It'll take a couple seconds here to parse and load and then render. And then you can actually go in and see what it is that you're after here. And as these uh, videos progress, I'm probably going to do some instructional videos on how to actually work with the studio program because there aren't really a whole lot on YouTube right now. And I think it would be beneficial for more people to know about it because uh, studio really gives you a lot of options on being able to build these vehicles, uh, you know, a pretty complete parts list, color options, and then uh, this one, they've uh, included a new thing, which is the instruction maker, which I'm still kind of playing with right now and experimenting with. So just an example, I've got step view clicked right here, and I'm going to go to the last step. Um, Click on the last step, and there's your completed project right there. So essentially what you'll want to do once you get this to actually open up through Studio is you'll want to go in and start looking at the steps. And I've still got it set up in the old school way. Uh, probably as time goes on, I'll work with the uh, instruction maker more, but right now it's set up in the old style, which is just going through the steps. And we've clicked on step one up here, and you can see it gives you the breakdown of what you exactly need. Uh, part number 3703, Technic Brick, 1 by 16 with holes. And there's two of them there. And then as the steps, you know, you get the little uh, click down here, opens up, you click on the steps, and it shows you the pins that you're going to be putting in. And you can actually click and hold on this, and it'll show you exactly how far these are supposed to be set up, uh, where pinholes go, uh, etc. So hopefully that kind of gets you guys into um, at least getting the file downloaded and getting set up so that I get you kind of started. Um, please comment, uh, leave me some feedback if you guys have any more questions. And I will continue to post more videos and uh, get this uh, studio maybe a little bit more familiar so we can all start working with it. And again, um, you know, go in and, and check out the Rebrickable site because uh, there's been people out there putting all kinds of really cool stuff out. So uh, giving a shout out to some of the other builders uh, like the World Turtle. Really cool stuff. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, again, this is Andrew Waters uh, signing out.